Hey guys, today we're gonna to make some tomato bacon jam. So, I'm ready. I grabbed a jar of my bacon that I canned. I am gonna open it up, start in. The Kentucky Derby is this weekend. I'm trying to get some stuff together to make some boards, so. There we go. That's what I like to hear. I'm actually do this over here with this pan. Over here. So I'm gonna use my board for other stuff, but there we go. Okay, I am just going to unravel this and let it all fall in the skillet, like so. And I can't stand to get my hands dirty, you guys, so I'm going to uh, wash my hands real fast. Then I'll be back. <laughs> All right, we're gonna set this off to the side, that. And um, I'm gonna go ahead and just get this going on the stove. And I'm gonna put it on medium. Stir it once in a while. The next thing we need to do is cut up a yellow onion. Um, like I said, it's the Kentucky Derby this weekend. And our family always gets together and uh, bets on each race, a quarter for each race and then a quarter from all of those races goes into the big pot for the big race. So, and then whoever wins that wins all that. So it's kind of fun. We have a real good time. We always bring food and, you know, hors d'oeuvres and sweeties and drinks and all kinds of stuff. So we always get together and uh, do that as a family which makes it even more fun than it would be if you're just watching it yourself on TV. So when we even get into the hats and all that, we bring our hats and, you know, live it up. <laughs> Make the most of the day for fun. I mean, why not, right? So dice your onion up. Get it going. Throw this in the skillet when you get done. Okay. And I don't care if there's big pieces of onion in here because my family are like onionaholics, so they're gonna use it regardless. And I will say this, this recipe does not really call for um, garlic, but I am gonna put just a little bit of garlic in it because well, we're garlic lovers too. So, let's get that off here to the side and do the next one. So, but anyway, I thought I'd make a board and I think I'm making a hummus board, a uh, red pepper hummus board. And um, if I'm gonna work the kinks out on it, on my family, of course. And then after I get that perfected, you guys, I'll make it for you guys too. And then you can see what I put on it and what I did. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, make sure there's no large pieces here. Yeah, okay. I'm gonna throw this in there in the skillet. When I get done, I'll take the um, bacon out and I'll crumble it. You can crumble it before you get to this point even, but I'm not going to. I'm just gonna put them all in there together, so. That's that on that. So, next is our tomatoes. All right, and you can use any onion you want. Excuse me. And you can use any onion you want. If you wanna use red onion, you can. If you wanna use scallions, you can. Um, Vidalia, um, yellow, white, whatever, whatever makes you happy and you like. So I used a sweet yellow, so that's what I used. Okay, next um, we need two and a half cups of the Roma tomatoes. So I'm gonna cut this little part out here on each one of these. They're ready to go, this knife's too big for this though. All right. So I got a different knife. This one will probably work better for me, it's smaller. 
Okay. I have six of these Romas and whatever six is, is what we're going with because I have no more and I'm not going shopping. So, like I said, this is kind of a rustic thing anyway, so it doesn't have to be perfect. And like I said, I'm gonna add the garlic to it too. So, I mean, that's my little spin on it and uh, that's not the original either. So, you know, you guys will have to learn to uh, adapt and make things yours along the way for your family, the way you like them, you know? That's what I do, I just do what I like. So, all right, that's that. I'm gonna get the garlic out right now. All right, I'm going to put in about a half of a teaspoon. That's all. Just, just for a little bit of that flavor. I'm gonna stir this around. All right, let it do its thing. Get back to the tomatoes. All right, I'm gonna get these sliced up and over there as well. So I'm just gonna slice them up in pieces about like this and uh, then go smaller after that. Get them in small little diced slices, pieces, whatever you wanna call it. So, I'm gonna cut them across here like this. Cut them across here like this. That's about the size they're gonna be, okay? Kinda a little big, a little chunky, but not too bad. Okay, so I've got five more of these to go. When I get done, I'll be back. Okay guys, this is about where you want most of it, kind of like this, I don't know if you can see this, but the stuff's getting crisped up, and I actually am letting a little bit of my onions get caramelized too, so that's about where I want it. I'm going to set it off the side until I get done cutting up all these tomatoes, and then we'll get back to that. I don't have too many of the tomatoes left here. Just a little bit. Almost done with them. I'm going to go ahead and check that skillet and cut the bigger pieces of ham, I mean, bigger pieces of uh, bacon down before I put all this other stuff in there, but just so you know. And I will say this, um, <laughs> you know, this is an excellent recipe, but it would do so much better with your summer tomatoes. Can you imagine instead of these store-bought ones? Oh my goodness. I can't even imagine how the flavor would be so much more superb. <laughs> I mean, I'm sure it's it's not even something you could put into words, you know, the difference that it would be. So, you can't beat a summer tomato. <laughs> you know that. Shoot, you could even put tomatillos in this thing. Oh my gosh, that would be so good. So, I'll be probably doing different variations of this along the way. <laughs> Just, you know, trying different things out as I go. You know, I never really stick to whatever the recipe is, and I always try to zhuzh it up myself and do what I want. So you guys need to learn to kind of do the thing, same thing, you know, just kind of put what you like in it. Like this time I put garlic in it, which is my thing. Um, you know, it wasn't in the original recipe, but that's okay. Um, I like garlic a lot. And if I had cilantro, I'd probably put some cilantro in it because same thing with cilantro, I love it too. Um, and also in a few minutes, I'll show you what I'm gonna do. Okay, let's see if we can try to get some of this apart here. This. Let's see if I got big pieces here. I got a couple of big pieces, not too many. I'm gonna break them down real quick here. Um, everything looks pretty good. There's a couple big ones in here. There's one. Yeah, I'm just breaking it down with this silicone spoon. It seems to work pretty good. So, there's a couple there. Yeah, so I think we're pretty good. All right, so I'm gonna put this on the front burner here, and I'm going to put it on medium, about a six, okay? I'm gonna put these tomatoes in there. Okay, here's the tomatoes and all their glorious juice. It's all going in, okay? Okay, here we go. 
mix this up a little bit. Okay. Get all this kind of incorporated together. Okay. All right, now what we're gonna do is, and also this recipe calls for one shallot, which I am not doing. Um, a third cup of granulated sugar, that's what it calls for. So about right there. That's a third cup. Got some on the stove there, like a messer. But mix that in. All right, guys. So now it says that we need to have um, the tablespoon of smoked paprika. I have two different kinds of paprika, but I think I'm gonna go with the hot one, you guys, because I like things hot. This is um, just a regular hot paprika. This is another one I have, which is just a smoked one. It's a sweet, but we already have sugar in there. So I really don't wanna go with the sweet. I think I'm gonna go with this one. And a tablespoon of this, so. I'm excited about this, it'll be, oh, I can't even get it open. Okay, so we're just gonna pour it in like this. That's about a tablespoon. Okay. Happy about that, because if it were up to me, I would even put hot peppers in here. But I'm gonna to try to stick as close as I can to the recipe. I'm not putting the shallot in because I put an onion in. And to me, a shallot is like a really soft essence of an onion without having to go the onion flavor. But if there's onion in here, then I don't see any sense in wasting a shallot. That's just how I look at it. But you can put the shallot in there if you'd like, okay? Now we need two teaspoons of chili powder. Oops, sorry guys, I nudged you there. So this is a half teaspoon. There we go, there's a teaspoon. Oh, okay. I'm just gonna take the lid off. All right. Okay. There we go. Okay. So it's two teaspoons of the chili powder, two tablespoons of balsamic vinegar. So I got that right here. Two tablespoons of this. One, two, okay, done with that. And then I have one teaspoon of Worcestershire. So I'll get my teaspoon out. One teaspoon of this coming up. All right, there's that. Okie dokie. See if I got everything. I'm going to go through the whole list for you so you can keep up with me if, you, if you've missed something. Okay, we need one pound of thick cut bacon, or you guys, you can do thin cut. It doesn't matter. If you don't want to do a whole pound, you can do a half pound. It does not matter. I think I did probably a half pound. One large sweet yellow onion, or whatever onion you like. One shallot. A third cup of granulated sugar, two and a half cups of Roma tomatoes. Make sure this stuff is diced, your onion and your tomato, okay? One tablespoon of smoked paprika, two teaspoons of chili powder, one, there are two tablespoons of dark balsamic vinegar, and one teaspoon of Worcestershire, okay? So what you wanna do is keep this going on the stove. I'm turning it up just a tad. And this is gonna all kind of meld together and work down um, until it's kind of like a very thick, jammy sauce type thing. Okay, and we're just gonna let it go until it does. I am gonna put this in my little fat jars that I have. I think they're one cup ones um, because I'm gonna put them in the fridge and like I said, use them this weekend for the derby. But however, you can can this if you want. You just have to go for the time of the bacon, which you would wanna do this in like jam jars or pints. You don't wanna do this in a quart. So it'll be 75 minutes pressure can. So that's that. To me, I feel like I need to add salt to this. I know the bacon is salty, but I am going to just add some salt anyway. 
because the bacon is not that salty. So I'm gonna just put a little in there and then when it's done, I will taste test it and see if I need any more, okay? So that's that, we'll come back when we get close. Okay guys, I just wanted to show you, I just stirred this up, but um, it's gonna be simmering, okay? And you just kinda let it do its thing. I just make sure I come over here and stir it up a little every once in a while so it's not sticking or anything, but I'm actually letting it come to a simmer for a while, like this. I'll let it simmer for about three minutes and I'll come over and stir it. So that's what I'm doing right now. We're trying to reduce, reduce this by a third. So that's our uh, goal here. You guys, I tasted this stuff. It is so good that I cannot stand it. It's got a little bit of heat to it from that um, hot paprika, but not a lot, just a little bit to warm the mouth a little. It is so good. I'm gonna be impressing people this weekend at the Derby, yeah? Oh yeah. Here, I'll let you look at it right now. All right, it's doing pretty good. I think it's almost done. Usually you can kind of go like that and if you get about five seconds before it goes back together, Four, five. Yeah, it's done. I'm gonna go ahead and get it in jars. So let me get the jars ready and I'll get back with you guys. All right, guys. I'm gonna go ahead and get these in jars. Boy, is it nice. I'm happy about this. I think I might make some more next week and uh, can it so I can pull these out when I want. Give it about inch head space, I think, inch, half inch, something like that. Probably get three out of these. We'll see. A mm, little bit more in that one. Boink. There we go. Okay. Yeah, I should be able to get three. Okay. I'm going to set this aside. And do it this way. I'm gonna get it in there. This one's got a little bit more liquid to it, which is good for me. I'm happy with that. So, Let's see where we're at. Yeah, I can get it in there. Get that in there, like so. I'm gonna fill this to a half inch. We'll see. A little bit more. Now I can get it all in there. I think. Yeah, this makes me so happy, you guys. Goodness. So I can get my board done. Take one of these for that. Make another board next week for you guys. And then I'll have one for myself. Put this in the sink. All right. Yippee, skippy. Look at that. Goodness, put the lid back on it instead of in here. Here you go, guys. Isn't that nice? I'm so happy. I love it. You guys have no idea. Okay, so these jars hold um, one cup each if you just come to the one inch line there, one inch headspace spot. So they're above that, but anyway, so I got a little bit over three cups. So I'm totally thrilled with that. I think everybody's gonna like it this weekend. And you know what, I think that, I think that maybe I'll just bring an extra one because you know what? The way our family goes through stuff, <laughs> they like something, it's, uh, it goes fast. So anyway, maybe I'll make two boards for the weekend, I don't know. But I am gonna make this stuff and can it next. So I cannot wait. So making that uh, bacon that I canned was pretty convenient this time to pull that off the shelf and use it like this. I love it. It works perfect for this recipe. You guys should give it a shot. I will put the um, ingredients in the notes, just so you know. And um, hey, give it a shot and switch it up to the things you like. You know, you don't have to do it my way. You guys can add the things that you like in it to make it yours. You know, if you want to put habaneros in there or you want to put, you know, different kind of tomatoes or different kinds of um, different colored tomatoes. That would be fun too, to make different colored ones, you know. Um, tomatillos, like I said, would be fun to put in this. Uh, the different onions you can put in there. You can switch it up a lot of different ways. So um, you could uh, put a soy sauce in there. You could do all kinds of different things. So anyway, do it whatever way you want. But if you wanna do it the way I did, minus the shallot, because I left the shallot out. And um, 
what else did I do that was my own there? Oh, I put garlic in there, yeah. So I mean, those are only two things that I really switched up, but the recipe that I got, I'll put in the notes, so you can check that out for yourself. I hope you guys have a good time making it because it's really good. See you later, bye.